Welcome to the truck of death. The nightmare that every mechanic hates to see. A vehicle that someone else has worked on prior and you have to go behind and fix everything that they have screwed up. Stick around for this one. Welcome back everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry it has been a while since I posted a video. Uh, and I had tons of footage on this truck here. Lost it. Memory card corrupted some kind of way. So, what I'm going to do today is go over what I've done. And there is one repair I'm going to do on here. I'm going to replace the oil pressure sensor. Uh, first, let me give you a back history on this truck. This truck my buddy bought about two, three months ago, maybe a little longer than that. And he bought it from a guy. Truck had a bad transmission. The guy told him, you know, my buddy was cool with it. So he had the trans rebuilt. Everything was good. Week later, he gives it to a guy to do a tune up. Uh, long story short, he didn't hear from the guy for two weeks. And when he finally did contact the guy, the guy told him that his engine was locked up and he needed a new engine. My buddy goes to the junkyard, gets another engine, uh, delivers it to the guy. And in the process of the guy taking the old locked up engine out, he tears up the front seal on the transmission inadvertently, doesn't know it, puts the engine back in halfway. Uh, there's so much stuff that got destroyed in the process. The oil dipstick tube was just mangled, uh, wires torn. There's still a few different little odds and ends here. I've got to finish off like, uh, they left a ground wire off back here. Uh, yeah. So when you guy gets his truck back, the brake lights on the anti-lock light is on. The dash is lit up like a Christmas tree. So, what I have had to do, essentially, was change all of the brake lines from front to back. Uh, we replaced the brakes in the rear, brakes in the front, calipers, hoses, everything. I've also put two front wheel bearings on here. Uh, I've put a steering gear box and pitman arm on here. Uh, I had a ton of videos, and yeah, my card is just trashed. So, like I said today, we're going to be changing the oil pressure switch, which is not too bad of a deal, because it looks like some of this stuff is missing from when this guy put this engine in here. I can still see a lot of things that are disconnected, like this PCV hose here. We're going to have to do something with that. And, oh, uh, the guy left couple of the exhaust bolts loose or excuse me nuts off of the flanges so I think it was the passenger side I do believe it has one bolt in it he has two bolts in the transmission bell housing at the bottom that are tight the middle ones are halfway hanging out I don't even know if the top ones are up in there um, it's just wiring just destroyed you know it's just there's no reason to, for somebody to do this to a truck to you know to destroy this thing like this do a half-assed job is more what i should say so i have got the majority of everything back together the way it should be uh, i still have to connect that ground wire back there and like i said today i'm gonna be changing the oil pressure sensor uh, which i gotta get up in here uh, let me get up in here be right back all right, let's see if I can put some light on where this thing is located. That right there is the connector for your oil pressure switch, sensor, excuse me. Uh, the difference between the switch and the sensor, if anyone's interested, the switch merely turns on a light, just like your on and off switch for your lights in your house or anything else that cuts on and cuts off this dash has a sensor a gauge 
so it has to have uh, a sensor not something that just turns on, turns on a light to complete a circuit so what we're going to do is we're going to get that connector off of there and I will show you the tool that I'm going to use here to get that out this is the socket that you'll need to get uh, I believe I bought this at AutoZone, if I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe 10 bucks, 12 bucks. So, what I'm going to do is reach back here. Let me see if I can turn off some light here. Try and reach back here at the same time. There we go. And that is what it looks like. Just lift up on this plastic lip here, this clip, and pull it up. And it is a one wire connector. So now, what I'm going to attempt to do is get my socket down in here. This is horrible. All right, the socket's on there. All right, it looks like... Uh, it looks like I may be able to... I might have to stick a universal on there. Maybe a six-inch extension. Let me uh, see what I can fix up here. Let me try to get this situated where I got the light down in here so you can see. I'll be right back. All right, here's the setup I'm using. I've got a universal. It's like a six inch extension in it. I think that's a three. And this is a three ace drive. So, uh, yeah. oh, that turned relatively easily. And if I fail to mention, this is an O2 5.3 engine on a Chevy Tahoe. Alright, I think it's loose enough where I can get my hand down in here and unscrew it. At least I hope so. Sorry if this is some pretty bad footage, but this is a really tight area back here. socket off of here and probably unscrew the whole thing with my hand. Ouch. I don't know how well this video is coming out. Yeah, they put this in a worse spot. Alright, there we are. So, we got our new one here, model zone. It should pretty much match up the other one. A little bit different, as long as the connector matches up. Um, that looks like. Oops, sorry. Looks like a match to me. Now let's try and get this thing back in here. This is going to be the hard part because you really can't see where you're screwing this thing in. Let's see if I can feel around for the hole first. Oh, that's nice. I lost it. There it is. There it is. Get this thing started by hand. Never try and take your socket. Start it with that. You will risk cross threading it. Alright, she's going. There we go. Somebody loves me today. Got a 
love it when a plan comes together. Mm. All right, let's get this socket back on here. need to gorilla torque it but you do need to make sure that it's in there snug do not want that thing coming out of there because your oil pressure will come flying out of there with it check it make sure all right socket Oops, there. our new one right there so now I've got to attempt to get that connector back on there it looks like the switch ended up in a different position than when I took it off that's okay all right and our connector is back on all right folks You know, back in business so this video helped you out in any way hit that like button hit the subscribe button uh, again I apologize for not putting up any videos for quite some time but I was quite disappointed to have lost all the footage I had on this truck because there's some really good stuff but yeah I'll be back with more come on back see you on the next one